Okay, Anika, let's start your uh, snap on signals and system for IIT interviews. Please uh, introduce yourself. Uh, Ma'am, uh, my name is Anika Shivastav. I've completed my bachelor's in electrical and, and electronics engineering in the year 2021. And uh, I have been shortlisted for the uh, uh, MS interviews of IIT Dharwal. Okay, uh, can you tell me what is four year series? Uh, Ma'am, uh, four year series is uh, four year series is, is an expansion of periodic signal as a linear combination of sine and uh, cosine. Okay, and uh, what about aperiodic signals? Can I define uh, four year series for aperiodic signals also? Uh, no, Ma'am. No, Ma'am. Four year series is only uh, used to represent a periodic signal as the infinite sum. Okay. Of Let's say I I am I want to represent my signal a periodic signal. Uh, with some restrictions on it uh, in terms of Fourier series. Can you tell me what will be the restrictions needed for aperiodic signals to be represented in form of Fourier series? Uh, Do you get my question? Yes. Um, yes. Uh, uh, maybe uh, it uh, Fourier series can be defined only for a single interval and not for minus infinite to infinite. So the condition would be that for uh, a particular signal, we'll define the Fourier series coefficient. Okay, and what are other conditions that are uh, that are needed for Fourier series to diverge? Sorry, ma'am, I, I don't know. You don't know about Dirichlet's conditions? Dirichlet's condition. Yes, uh, ma'am. Dirichlet condition uh, states that. Uh, that the function x uh, suppose a function x of t then x of t uh, must have finite number of discontinuities finite uh, maxima and finite minima and also the function should be absolutely integrable that is minus infinite to infinite x of t dt uh, must be less than infinite okay and uh, why can't i uh, define my signal at discontinuity um, Ma'am, because the uh, the value of the signal will no, be uh, indefinite. Value of signal will be indefinite means it will not be finite. See, uh, we can define finite number of discontinuities. That is the condition and uh, Dirichlet condition, right? Yes, ma'am. So uh, let's say I have a finite discontinuity. Can you tell me? What will be the uh, function's value at this discontinuity? If I Fourier series se represent karu and I have to define my function at this point of discontinuity, how will I define it? You don't know about it? Anika, you know the answer or not? No, ma'am. Oh, okay, just say so. Okay, uh, tell me, I have a signal that is y is equal to 10 theta. Y is equal to? Tangent, 10, jo bol rahi ho, 10 theta. Okay. Okay, so can I express this signal in the form of Fourier series? Fourier series? Uh, yes, ma'am, because it is a periodic signal. Okay, can you draw me the graph of 10 theta? ये जो आपने लाइन ड्रॉ करी है इज दिस कंटिन्यूटी कंटिन्यू कंटिन्यूएशन में होता है फंक्शन कैन यू प्लीज मार्क द टाइम आप फ्रीक्वेंसी डोमेन में मार्क uh, कर सकते हो कि किस किस टाइम पे क्या हो रहा है थीटा की वैल्यूज मार्क करनी है आपको यस मैम यस मैम Uh, 
Ma'am, at pi by two, the function will be discontinuous. Okay. So this discontinuity will be c. Uh, no, wait. At pi by two, what will be the value? Infinite. Infinite. Okay. And so this I mean, discontinuity will be c. Not defined. Okay. This discontinuity will be seen all throughout the function, right? Yes, ma'am. Three pi by two, then five pi by two, right? Yes. So this is not satisfying the Dirichlet condition. How are you saying I can uh, represent this signal as Fourier series? The third condition of Dirichlet condition you have told me is that fine. It should have finite number of discontinuity. Yes. Right. Yes. But this is having infinite discontinuities. How can I represent this signal now? Yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, but the uh, sis, uh, but the signal is uh, absolutely integrable because uh, I mean it is a periodic signal, so maybe that's why the it uh, means the Fourier series can be written. But only one condition it is following. It should follow all three conditions, right? Yes, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Okay. Can you tell me? Uh, Why are sinusoidal signals are most preferred to analyze my system? Like uh, in Fourier series, I am converting my signals in the form of Fourier uh, in the form of sinusoidal signals, right? Yes, and mostly uh, all throughout my subject, I am using sinusoidal signals to analyze my system. Can you tell me why uh, these signals are most preferred? Uh, Ma'am, because sinusoidal signals uh, means they, uh, they are. Uh, Uh, they have bounded uh, um, amplitude and also they are periodic signals so uh, it is easy to but uh, anika are there not any other signal that are bounded and uh, also periodic aise to bahut sare signals hain why only sinusoidal signals then ma'am we can also any classify uh, the even signals in the form of means the even and odd signals in the form of sinusoidal signals how Uh, Ma'am, like uh, even signals can be classified uh, or can be written in the form of uh, cause terms. Even signals. Can you give me any example? How are you saying that even signal can be defined in the form of sinusoidal signals? Means, ma'am, the cause signals. Uh, I mean, the cause uh, cause function is an even signal, and sine is an odd signal. So, so. You are saying you can define any even signal in the form of sinusoidal signals. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I'm not saying that. Okay. Then what are you saying? You are saying that sine, uh, sine odd होता है, cos even होता है. So what is the benefit still then? बहुत सारे even odd signals होते हैं, जो कि आपके bounded होंगे and also they are periodic. I can take constant value. constant value le leti hu main that is also bounded that is also periodic ma'am uh, um, have you heard about eigen function what are eigen function eigen functions yes no ma'am you haven't heard about eigen functions Okay, it's okay. Uh, um, a y of t is equal to lambda x of t, where uh, lambda will be the eigen value. No, no, that is a mathematical formula you are telling me. I am just asking you, what does the eigen function mean? A mathematics other formula, you are telling me. Okay, forget about it. Uh, let's say Anika, I have a signal x t that is that have even and half wave symmetry. Okay, yes. even. And half wave symmetry. Can you tell me what will be the Fourier series coefficient? Uh, what will be the value of B n? Ma'am, A n will be uh, zero for even uh, for even uh, harmonics. For even for even harmonics, it will be zero, and for odd harmonics, it uh, A n will not be zero. Okay. It's only odd harmonics will be present, and then B n will be zero. Always, yes, ma'am. For even signal. Okay. And what about even half wave symmetry? That was even and half wave symmetry. Now I'm asking, 
about even half wave symmetry what will be the coefficients that means this was even even plus half wave symmetry in uh, which only odd signals uh, earlier i asked you even and half wave now i am asking even half wave फर्स्ट ऑफ टेल मी इवन हाफ वेव सिमेट्री के लिए कंडीशन क्या होती है व्हाट इज द कंडीशन फॉर इवन हाफ वेव सिमेट्री मैम दैट द सिग्नल शुड बी इवन एंड हाफ इवन हाफ वेव सिमेट्री जो पहले वाली कंडीशन है दैट इज द कंडीशन फॉर इवन सिग्नल आई एम आस्किंग यू वॉट इज द कंडीशन ऑफ इवन हाफ वेव सिमेट्री नॉट इवन सिमेट्री नॉट प्रियोडिक सिग्नल आई एम आस्किंग इवन हाफ वेव सिमेट्री okay let's say uh, i have a signal real time signal okay ft is a real valued signal can you tell me what will be the symmetry of this signal in frequency domain in case of fourier series what will be the symmetry of signal in frequency domain uh in time domain it is real yes uh, ma'am conjugate symmetric conjugate symmetry even or odd even Okay. Okay, Anika. Uh, let's conclude your interview. See, Anika. Overall, I felt that uh, you have a good knowledge of subject. You know about the subject, but uh, there are still are many topics that you need to revise and you need to focus on. मतलब आपको थोड़ा और उसको revision देना पड़ेगा and you have to brush up your topics. आपके नॉलेज है बट अभी वो कॉन्फिडेंस नहीं आ पा रहा है इंटरव्यू के लिए ना बहुत सारी चीजें हैं जो लैक कर रही हैं बीच में लाइक दे आर सम ग्रे एरिया ठीक है बीच बीच में थोड़ा सा थोड़ा सा कुछ कुछ क्वेश्चन नहीं पता है चीजों का ठीक है तो थोड़ा सा उसको रिवाइज करो सब्जेक्ट को एक बार दोबारा से ब्रशअप करो आप अपना एक बार रिवाइज करोगे तो वो आपका कवर हो जाएगा एंड सी uh, फोरियो सीरीज वाला आपका ठीक था टेन थीटे का ग्राफ मैंने आपको बोला था दैट योर ग्राफ वाज रॉन्ग एक बार आप अपने ग्राफ को देख लेना कि आपको ग्राफ कैसे ड्रॉ करते हैं आपको पता होना चाहिए दीज आर बेसिक सिग्नल्स टेन थीटा साइन थीटा कॉस थीटा ओके एंड वन मोर थिंग कि हम टेन uh, थीटा को रिप्रेजेंट नहीं कर सकते अनलेस द सिग्नल फॉलोज ऑल थ्री डिफरेंट कंडीशन यू कान डिफाइन द सिग्नल इन द फॉर्म ऑफ फोरियो सीरीज अगर एक कंडीशन भी फॉलो कर रहे हैं That doesn't mean that you can define the signal in Fourier series. ठीक है? Ah, a question I have asked you was at the point of discontinuity. How can I define my signal? See, ah, uh, if finite discontinuity is there, then that signal at the point of discontinuity is uh, defined by the average of left limit of the signal and right limit. Okay, average of both, ah, uh, we can define that point. Pe define kar sakte. Although my exact uh, value will not be defined. But for the purpose of mathematical, right? Ha, huh, that this is Gibbs phenomena. Yes, yes. exactly. Uh, one more thing, I ask you: We prefer sinusoidal signals. Mm -hmm. May there are very, I mean, there are many many reasons. Hai, but the main reason that stands out is that it is an eigen function. Sinusoidal signals are eigen function. What are eigen functions? Eigen functions are if I pass any eigen function through my system, then the resultant will be the same signal multiplied by a constant value. Okay, my frequency will be same. Everything will be about the signal shape. Uh, everything will be same. It will be just be multiplied by the amplitude. So, for me, any system to analyze करना becomes very easier. ओके क्योंकि सिर्फ एम्पलीट्यूड चेंज हो रहा है एवरीथिंग अदर देन एम्पलीट्यूड एवरीथिंग इज रिमेनिंग सेम 
दीज आर कॉल्ड आइगन फंक्शन आइगन फंक्शन बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट होता है हम इसी के बेसिस पे सारी कैलकुलेशन करते हैं आप कैलकुलेशन करते हो बट आपको ऐसे टर्म याद नहीं होगी आपने कैलकुलेशन जरूर की होगी इसकी एंड लास्ट क्वेश्चन वॉज दैट इवे हाफ एव सिमेट्री हाफ एव सिमेट्री की कंडीशन क्या होती है यानी का इट इज एफ टी इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ टी प्लस माइनस टी डिवाइडेड बाई टू हाउ वी कैलकुलेटेड आप क्या करते हो एक टाइम पीरियड लेते हो यू डिवाइडेड इन हाफ एक टाइम पीरियड को हाफ में डिवाइड करते हो देन यू सी इज इट इवन और इज इट ऑड अगर आपको हाफ में डिवाइड करके एक टाइम पीरियड में लग रहा है कि सिग्नल इवन है दैट मीन्स the signal is even half wave symmetry it is it, it is following even half wave symmetry and if it is odd then it is uh, we just call it half wave symmetry hum usko odd nahi bulate we just say that it is a half wave symmetric signal okay so uh, and for even half wave symmetry condition the signal is having zero value coefficients is ha- i having zero value when the when I mean, the odd even harmonics present honge sir और हार्मोनिक्स के टाइम पे आपका जो फोर सीरीज को पेशेंट होंगे दे विल बी जीरो नो इवन हाफ वेव सिमेट्री विल है सेकेंड कंडीशन के अंदर भी सेम चीज होती है इवन वैल्यू पे जीरो होगा बट बी एन हमेशा जीरो होगा बिकॉज इट इज इवन राइट मतलब एक दो कंडीशन दी है यहाँ पे मैं बोल रही हूँ इट इज इवन और सेकंड कंडीशन इज इट इज आल्सो बोलिंग हाफ वेव सिमेट्री तो ऑड हाफ वेव सिमेट्री को आप कभी ये नहीं कहते हो कि ऑड हाफ वेव सिमेट्री आप जस्ट बोल देते हो उसको हाफ वेव सिमेट्री है ओके दैट मीन सिग्नल इज इवन एंड इट इज फॉलोइंग ऑड हाफ वेव सिमेट्री सेकेंड कंडीशन इज जस्ट इवन हाफ वेव सिमेट्री ओके दैट इज योर फीडबैक फ्रॉम माई साइड अनिका डू यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन फॉर मी Okay I'll see you next time then Okay thank you ma'am